Hello, it's Crop the Base, and today I have a new episode of Sidonia. Finally, it has been like a week or something, and that's so long. A week, a week from recording Sidonia episodes. That's way too long. But as you can see, I have a random chest. What is this? Well, um, I don't have my normal gear on me right now. Not sure if you noticed, but we are going to fight an Ender Dragon. And I'll show you that clip, but I have to warn you that uh, people are talking over each other, so it might not be the best clip ever. We never actually had an entire group thing like that before, where all of us go on to one Skype call, and yeah. But anyways, I'll show you it right now. Steve, go in or I punch you in, like so. Oh good, we didn't spawn in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Hello, oh, Steve, we have, we have oh crap. Oh, I pressed that. Oh, bad. Who's good at shooting stuff for me? I did, uh... uh I did my shooting. I'll shoot Howard. I'll shoot Howard for sure. Okay, <laughs> we all need to do that, really. Well... Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm gonna go oh, create wow. a snow golem. Does anyone have any pumpkins I could have? Uh, I have like 21, but I'm in the end. I'm uh, can I have one? Who is it? Who is it that doesn't have a pumpkin? A... Does anyone have a shovel I can borrow? I pumpkin, you fool. <laughs> it's like the one oh. thing you actually need. The guy's powers are yeah. both visible, but half the powers are already gone. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> is it just me who's just mining as much endstone as possibly can? No, it isn't. Jeremy, you're <laughs> terrible. <laughs> what? I don't know what. I'm not going to meet I'm going to have to do the end. You tried to hit that minutes. crystal like seven times. I'm brilliant. Ah! Go away. Uh, someone's made a thingy mad. Oh, it's Jeremy. Okay. You should really be wearing that. There, is that all? Is that already? Wait, all who doesn't have, do you a have a pumpkin? Do you have a pumpkin on you, George? No. I need a pumpkin I too. Need one. I don't have one. I need I don't one. Need no I don't need Guys. Oh, okay. Guys, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm still getting a little bit of lag. I'm, hop, I'm gonna hop in in a minute. Yeah, Exo, right. yeah, I, 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 I have a spare. Exo, where are you? Is that? I have a question. Exo, Exo, turn around. Let's corrupt the base. Guys, who are you? Like, oh, okay, thank you. Can I have one it's, it's like Wait, who doesn't have a pumpkin? Me, 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 jumping in front of you, the midget. Where are you? Oh, midget. Okay. Guys, thank you. Is. Okay, here's my question. Pumpkin, Did we already destroy all the pillars? I have to cut that part out, sorry. Hardly, yeah. hardly necessary. Here comes the empire. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, that was a bit... I had like stacks of endstone and I haven't shot a single arrow with my bow. Okay, hopping in. Hopefully. As opposed to shooting an arrow with... My bow is... So this yeah, looks like a pretty good end. We, we didn't spawn way off the island. Yeah. No, we didn't. Oh, I right. <laughs> this dragon is so dead. <laughs> it's just, if you look up, all you can see is snowballs and fire arrows. Oh, it's like, it's, it's, it's like fireworks, this. Did anyone bring a piston? Oh, uh, no. But <laughs> we can use a torch. They changed it because if it goes through the portal, it pops up That's a spawn. You can't, you can't actually lose it. Hmm. Wait, so now there's like, it's impossible for us to get the egg. No, I can use a piston. No, no, it's possible to lose it. I'm, gonna come, I'm worried that we kind of shoot, we're gonna kind of shoot each other. 
Yeah. See, well, basically, when it gets to spawn, nobody touch it because uh, me and yeah. Exo have been building our own like uh, monument kind of thing in our creative That's world. And we just came up with oh, okay. Beautiful. So, yeah, don't uh, even right click the egg. <laughs> Yeah, nobody right yeah, no one touched the egg. Or, we right or click left to get click. Up right or left click. It doesn't matter. Don't even click on the egg. Whoever, whoever, don't click on the egg. It's, it's Easter it. yet. Whoever yeah. said, whoever said, oh, I, I think it was, whoever said, did you do the mirror thing? Yes, we did the mirror thing. So it's awesome. All ah, right. Now that was so, amazing. Yeah, I'm glad. It looks good. Okay. I like that. So basically, yeah, we're doing it like that. It's dying. But, uh, don't die. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the surprise. Where is this mother trucker? I don't know. Oh, it's dead! Uh, it's dead! It's dead. Uh, awesome! Get, get in it! Get the money! Get the free XP! XP. Okay, <laughs> Guys, I shot like three arrows. I feel so useless. Oh, 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 awesome. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, baby! Four <laughs> levels! I only got oh, a three one, one left. I just oh. went back to the overworld. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> I didn't oh, get any oh. XP. I went to the overworld. Did anyone, oh, so did anyone yeah, actually I'll take any damage? Level. I didn't take any. Uh, I haven't taken any damage. I haven't, I haven't taken any damage. I haven't fired my bow once. I told you, it's like ridiculously easy. Three, Peace. two, now one. Peace. Peace. So I've been gone for like another week or so, and I just saw this right next to my house. Um, this is the giant horse, and coming soon to the server near you, and. It seems that they use the Etho door pattern, which is pretty cool. And nothing in the store is ready yet. But this thing is really, really cool. I don't know who made it. But I still like this place. And another thing is that there's this leaf path. And it's leading into something that doesn't seem to be finished yet either. But it's coming along really, really nicely. So, I'm at the Scotland Grinder trying to pick up, pick up my pick? No, trying to repair my pick, sorry. Um, and I got this thing, and that is an amazing bow. Unfortunately, I don't use bows because it takes up too much inventory space. I normally have it set up as a sword and a backup sword since iron swords do deplete pretty quickly. And a pick, a shovel, sometimes I put an axe or another pick on there, um, a building block, some other extra space. I'm saving that for an ender pearl. And then I have food, water, torch, and then I also have oak wood and crafting table in the corner. And that's what I normally have, so I really don't use bows, and I don't think I need it for anything other than dispensers, so I'll be giving it away. So I'm in Twilight Space, and as you can tell, it is amazing. It's down on level 10, and the reason why I'm here is for a Silk Touch book, which is pretty rare. You can get one at level 30 for 1%. You have a 1% chance of getting one at level 30, and a 1.000257. I don't remember the exact number, but it's like 1.000000 something percent to get it and you can get on level 16 so level 16 is actually the best um, level to get an enchanted book and it's still one percent and that's nothing so I need to enchant like two stacks of book and anyways as you can tell Twilight has been doing a lot I don't know what this is um, she has Optifine Fog turned off, so she won't be able to see all these fogs. Which is good for her. But I don't have it turned off. But I like the fog, mainly because, well, one, I don't build here. Oh yeah, and she also has a tree farm, and I think she got like, um, eight, nine stacks of wood from this. And that's a lot, that's crazy. And here's her villager trading place. This is how she's able to get the Silk Touch book. The villager trading place. Um, enough of that. She has a channel, actually. And I highly suggest that you would check it out. Because she uploads video a lot more frequently than I do. Probably about, like, 
a few a day. I would say one or two a day. Something like that. And right now, um, I'm pretty sure she'll upload the video before I upload mine. Because I upload, I try to upload one a week, but now that uh, I have other stuff in the way, it's not easy. Anyways, she's building a sugarcane farm right here. And she has a lot of farms. And it's just amazing. You should check out her progress. I think she's the only other one doing Sidonia Let's Plays at the moment. Or Sidonia, depending on how you like to pronounce it. It's just really cool. And some other people are planning to do um, Let's Plays, but that won't be until the 1.7 update, which would be... I have no idea how long that would take, actually. But seriously, go check her out. Um, an annotation would be placed on the video, and a link to her channel will be in the description below. I keep on walking behind the back of my house thinking there was something missing, and it turns out it doesn't have the strip of stone slabs. And it's pretty interesting. I thought I'd place it there. Uh, I guess I forgot. But it's pretty much here now, and I think that looks much better. Yep, it looks decent. So, as you may have noticed in Twilight's video, which you should check out, um, the nether portal is missing, and I have no idea where it has gone, but I'm gonna make it, instead of in the middle, like somewhere over here, I'm gonna try to place it here, and hopefully it links up. Alright, and hopefully this leads into the main hub. And fingers crossed. Let's see what it does. Please, please. Awesome. It works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and light up the other nether tunnel, uh, I mean portals, and then redecorate this area over here. Unfortunately, the room is uh, it's an odd number room, so I have to place these two next to each other, and honestly. It looks horrible. I have to... I probably should decorate the outside a little bit. Hmm. I'm not sure. Well, I have finally stuck to this design since it's more odd number friendly, if that makes sense, because it has a center now. And I also place stuff over here, just to show you that it does link up to the other portal. Here it is. Now I'm down at the quartz well. So Fox and I have been working at spawn. And here's the very area where we spawn, and that's where our town is. And I made a giant circle over here. And it took me a while, not because it's a giant circle, or that I couldn't figure out how to make a circle. That part was easy. The thing is, I failed at counting and repeating the pattern. you think that would be a simple thing to do, but for some reason, I just didn't like it. And it looks like Fox is getting... Whoa, she's beating the zombie, so I guess she doesn't need help. Um, oh yeah, one more thing is that we are on the snapshot. The 1.7 snapshot. I guess while I was recording my video, Fox has been shot by a skeleton like a million times. There's a zombie behind her. Well, I guess I'll help her with that since she's brutally injured by the arrows. I found an interesting bug, but by the time I say this, it's probably been announced already. Or at least upload the video. Um, the chain leggings, it's clearly enchanted, but the enchantment is not named. And I found this to be true with certain armor that are being dropped. But, as you can tell from my pick, it looks fine. Oh yeah, and, um, sorry, my audio settings did change, so the music might be a bit loud. Fox and I both dug out this entire area, and now I'm thinking of scaling the circle down, and it's raining. Luckily, I turned the rain sound down, actually. I'm, that's one thing I love about 1.7, is that... You can turn the weather sound really, really down low. So I can barely hear it. I can still hear it, but just very faintly. 
like that. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it though. Anyways, um, as I was saying, I was trying to scale this circle down a little bit. Let's say move it three blocks in and then dig one block lower. And I am having issues of thinking about that. I mean, I could, I can form my own circle. That's easy. But then, like, scaling it down, uh, I'm not sure what kind of math I have to do with that. Um, I could be just being stupid right now. I don't know. So I marked out the diameter of this thing. So there's these two blocks and then those blocks over there on the side. Well, at least of the inner circle. The outer circle, I think it's like a 32 blocks in diameter. I just counted. And I don't like counting in Minecraft because I usually like freeforming instead of like something perfect. But I guess in this case I'm making a circle, so I gotta do some math. The only plan I can think of is to dig down here and dig across like an X mark. And then I guess I could bloat the square up a little bit and make it roundish. I marked out the square. Now all I have to do is to make this a circle. Alright, so on that end is where the circle is going to be. And here's the path that Fox and I had dug out. Well, Fox has dug this place out and I like how it kind of molds into the land and um, in Minecraft I would prefer organic looks and that's something I'm good at I mean I can do the um, geometrical geometrical geometric looks but it's just not as easy and Fox not Fox whoa Twilight has seriously bone this entire place she did this, and she also did that. I realize how terrible my house looks um, with the lighting glitches in vanilla. But I'm going to go to sleep now because zombies are attacking us. I just realized how much more beautiful it looks when the grass is... When the grass... The, yeah, the grass. I don't know what I was thinking there, but the grass is all bone mealed. Today I'm having like an extremely hard time speaking in front of a microphone. I do not know why. Uh, I can speak in front of people, no problem. But the moment I go in front of a microphone, I, I just can't do that for some reason. Fox has found my zombie spawner. And I haven't seen it in forever because I couldn't find it. I know I placed it near spawn. But I have no idea where it led to. Uh, led to? No, I have no idea where it was. Alright, so I got a pattern down. It's one, two, three, one, two blocks here. Then you go diagonally. Um, place three blocks diagonally. I keep on thinking that cobblestone wall is a creeper. Anyway, so three blocks diagonally. Uh, diagonally. See, I am really having trouble speaking today. And then three blocks here again. And you just continue the pattern throughout the whole entire thing. Well, I shrunk it down a little bit, and now I think it's a pretty good size. So now we just gotta dig out the area. I've finally gotten a silk touch pick, and you have no. a silk touch pick, a silk touch shears. And this thing is very useful, especially for cobwebs. Okay, so this is pretty much our progress so far. And as you can see, Fox is working on the very center. Um, I actually have a fountain design in mind. And yes, I like it. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to be off for today, but... I'm probably going to continue the video. So as for the fountain, I'm planning for it to be like one of the bowl things. So there would be a little stem thing over here. Maybe I'm going to make that a bit larger so I can place a block in the center. And then so it would be like a base. 
and then it will go larger like a bowl and you place a water in it. I'm trying to decide the difference between this and this side. I think I like this side better because it looks more like a circle compared to this thing. Which is why I didn't add the stone brick stairs over there because if I did it would look too square. Which is not what I'm trying to achieve. I like it, but it's too tall. So I might lower it down by one block. Um, hopefully that doesn't cause any lighting glitches. Because when I do that, there is a lighting glitch. That doesn't look too promising. And that looks better. It's not completely what I imagine it to be. Hmm. It's kind of gray. Maybe I should add some moss stone bricks, but I can't because these are pretty much all stairs. Unless you can get moss slabs. But then again, that wouldn't look amazing. What if I added some vines? I'll go get that and let's see what that looks like. Looking at this thing from a distance, it doesn't look too terrible. Unfortunately, if you're close up, it doesn't look amazing. I'm attempting to add vines on this thing, as you can hear my mouse clicking. Um, and apparently you can't put them on blocks, uh, transparent blocks. Which is rather unfortunate. Uh, there used to be a portal over here, but I decided to move it because it was too close to Fox's... Well, I made the arch and Fox made this little drape. And I think it looked pretty good. I want this to have a natural feel instead of something, I don't know, something industrial, I guess. I still don't know what to do for the center, but I'll decide that later. Anyways, I moved the portal down here into the iron farm. Um, I did not move the stained clay with it. If you want it, it'll be over here. Well, it'll be in my base. Not really. I think I'm gonna just leave it here for someone that wants it. So I just found this guy right next to the circle thing. Um, I'm not even sure what to call it. The town circle. I'll just call it that. Um, anyways, I found this there and I really really like this. I don't know who made it. In honor of Dandelion, Dandelion. Oh, Dandelion, I see. I see what they did there. I didn't get that at first. But it looks really, really cool. I could have sworn this arrow was here for, like, how long? Oh, yeah, the past day. Like, not in Minecraft day, but the past day. Oh, and it shifted. This is really weird. I'm not sure if it's a snapshot bug or what. Because, you know, arrows should probably be stuck in a block for no more than five minutes. I th and I have a text. I am sorry for that. It's been another day, and look at this. It's still here. And it just shifted, as you saw. And as for the design, it's not going to be permanent. Because I really don't have any more time for the rest of the episode so i'm just gonna end it here thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time